Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you're watching from, the Lord bless you today and cause His face to shine upon you. We are glad and I'm excited that we are in another new week and it's a glorious week. It's going to be a wonderful week in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you as you watch and you stay tuned. God bless you in Jesus' name. This is every word of God for daily living. Precious Father, King of glory, Lord of lords, be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou praised forever. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Who is like unto thee, Father, in all the earth? From generation to generation, you are still the same. You never fail. You never change. Hallowed be your name, Father. Glorious God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for even as we're about to hear your word, oh God. We open up ourselves to you, Lord Jesus. Teach us your word, oh God. Come and speak to our heart, O oh Lord, to heal and deliver and set free, O oh God. Oh, come and speak your mind to us, O oh God. Jesus, Son of God. Hallelujah to your glorious day, Father. Come and speak your heart desire to us, O oh Lord, to heal us, to instruct us, to direct us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I bind every forces of darkness and powers of hell. I decree the judgment of God upon them. In the name of Jesus, I cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Oh, yes, the word of God shall, 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 shall bear fruits in our life. In the name of Jesus, we shall begin to see the fruits of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, God, I sing praises to your name. Oh, God, praises to your name. Oh, God, I sing praises to your name. Oh, God. Praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. We sing praise to your name, Lord. You are wonderful, Jesus. Glorious God, we bless you. We love you. Thank you, Father, for our lives. Thank you, Father, for our household, our families. Oh, God, thank you, Father. Be thou exalted, faithful Father. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our topic today is... Marriage illustrates Christ's you union know, with the church. This by Pastor Parika, the international director of the Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, short form Horemont. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. Hallelujah. And our text is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25, verse 28, and verse 32. Hallelujah. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Verse 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Verse 32. This is a great misery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Key verse is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 32. This is a great misery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Take our reading. 
The Holy Spirit through the inspired writers uses marriage as a figure of the union between Christ and the church. If our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit honor marriage, then we should follow marriage and hold it honorably. Amen. Marriage illustrates Christ's union with the church. Marriage is a lovely union as there is love between Christ and the church. Marriage is a service union of coming together where the man serves the woman and the woman serves the man. Jesus is serving us. Amen. See the great good he does for us in his service. Hallelujah. I am among you as he that serves. Amen. 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 This brings me to say that we should be servants. That's why we are, we, we as children of God, we should easily be servants, serving each other, not being, not sitting and then you want waiting for others to serve you. Wherever you, you are, look for things to do, to be a blessing to others, to be, remember, it is the servants that God will bless and make a master. When the, when the disciples were saying, oh God, who is the greatest? He said, he that serves, he is the greatest. So God expects you that wherever you are, you are in the house of God, you should look for a, a, something to do. Look for something that God, a gift that God has blessed you with that you can serve or you can serve in this or you know how to organize so much or you're good in the technology part or you're good you know how to usher people you know how to put things in order be in that place it doesn't have to be a great or maybe you are so gifted that you know how to clean very well oh it's a very special part and a great part that we we need in the church so in every everywhere you go whether it's at your work or it's at your workplace be that person that cleans and you know how to keep things and everywhere is very very tidy please do that and, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am among you as he that serves and we are serving him as our master and Lord. Hallelujah. He provides for us our needs. We serve him. Amen. So it is a union illustrating as, as husbands love the wife and the wife loves the husband. Husband serves the wives, provides for the wife and the wife serves the husband honors the husband. Amen. Amen. May God help us that in every duty that we do in the house of God, it will be, it will be geared to uh, uh, serving God, honoring God. Amen. In reverence to him, not for our glory or for us to be seen, but in humility in serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. It illustrates the relationship between Christ and the church. It is a relationship of mutual benefits. Everybody gains from the union. We gain from our relationship with Christ. So marriage is a thing that illustrates the relationship between Christ and the church. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit used it to open our eyes on the relationship between Christ and the church. Amen. Amen. May our relationship with Jesus increase from henceforth in the name of Jesus. May God cause us to have a very intimate relationship with him in the name of Jesus. May our personal life with Jesus grow higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's an internal union because we are told that marriage is for life. Amen. Jesus and the believers join together and live for internal and, and live internally because Jesus does not die. Amen. Jesus lives forever. He's forever and ever. Amen. Therefore, the believers who will, who will resurrect will also not die. The union is forever, just as the husband and the wife are on earth. And the union throughout the days of their lives until one of them dies. So marriage illustrates the relationship between Jesus. Take it, therefore, to be honorable that to be honorable and don't touch it don't break it don't interrupt them that marriage it is a message to the whole world illustrating christ's relationship with the church amen amen to that i don't know if you understand this but this is this is very very explanatory that christ has given us marriage and used the uh, marriage to illustrate the relationship that we have the internal relationship that we have and should have in christ jesus even as a man and 
and a woman come together, there should be nothing that will break that bond. Jesus Christ has given us marriage just to illustrate how we, the church, and Christ is connected together. There's nothing that should break us. There's, we should not allow sin to break us. We should not allow anything to come in between us. There's no breakage between us and Christ Jesus internally when we live in his holiness and in, and, and in his righteousness. That there's nothing that should separate us from the love of God. So nothing should separate you from your husband's love. Nothing should separate you from your wife's love. Whether it be adultery, nothing should separate you. Oh yeah, the Bible said yes. Uh, 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 somebody came to Jesus and was asking about that. Moses said that we should give them a, 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 a letter of divorce. Where is the forgiveness inside? Where did the forgiveness come in? Where does it come in? People say that, oh yes, we can divorce. No, it is not so. You cannot divorce. Jesus said, except it be for fornication. Fornication and adultery, are they the same? They are not. Fornication is like people that are being betrothed together. And you know you are betrothed to this man and, or to this woman. And you have not yet sealed it by the bad price or paying your bad price to the, to the, pay the bad price to the woman's parents. You have not yet sealed it. But they have been betrothed. All eyes are like, ah, oh, that man is for this girl oh they are waiting to when they are 25 years or when they are finished school they will get back everybody know that they are betrothed and then the man goes out to sin he goes out to sleep with another person with he made fornication with another person then that betrothed is, is, is broken that relationship is broken. That uh, uh, whatsoever they call it, the 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 the, the, the betrothed uh, uh, lady and the man cannot meet. She she can go ahead and say, "I'm not going to marry this man again." He has he has already defied himself. It's not fitting for me. Ah no, I break this this this, this uh, agreement we have that we're going to get married. I break it. You can go ahead and do that. You are not yet married. But when you are married, forgiveness. In fact, as you are married, you are sealing yourself with forgiveness. So whatsoever this man do to me, whatsoever this woman do to me, I am going to forgive her for life. That is what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross of Calvary. That whatsoever we have done to him, as far as we come and we ask for forgiveness in the humility of heart and we repent from our sin, he has forgiven us all our sin. Jesus loves us with an everlasting love. So God is requiring you to love your wife with an everlasting love. Jesus loves you, woman, with an everlasting love. So Jesus is requiring you to love your husband with an everlasting love without any sin in your heart without any grudges without anything holding in your heart against your husband forgive totally oh forgive and forget even like our lord jesus do that is the relationship jesus loved us so much he gave his all for us oh he died for us on the cross of calvary and he has heaven prepared for us oh yes that whosoever walk in his holiness and righteousness will receive it if you open up to jesus yes it's also the same thing oh you you have you have gotten married oh your husband love you your wife love you so much no matter the sin no matter whatsoever thing that you have done it is forgivable you have to forgive there is nothing that you cannot forgive as a wife or you cannot forgive your husband you can no that is this is not there is nothing that you there's, there's nothing that should come in between you and your husband just like Nothing that should come in between your relationship with Jesus Christ. May God open the eyes of our understanding today to this message, to this illustration. I take this back. He said, take it therefore to be honorable. Don't touch it. Don't break your marriage. Don't interrupt that marriage. It is a message to the world illustrating Christ's relationship to the church. Just as the husband and the wife are on the earth, the union throughout the days of their life until one of them dies. So marriage illustrates our relationship with Jesus Christ. Your, your union with Jesus Christ, your union with God is for it should, it should be forever. You should not allow anything to break your relationship with God. So you should not allow anything to break your relationship with your husband. Don't break it. Honor it. Don't let anything 
interrupt your marriage with your husband or whether friends or whatsoever, even even fornication. Uh, do not let nothing, adultery, I mean to say, do not let anything to, 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 to break your marriage and do not let anything to break your relationship with Jesus Christ. Oh, let's begin to pray that God will give us the grace to hold firm to the end. Oh, God will help us that nothing will break our relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. We will not let sin enter in. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray for grace. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will give us grace to hold firm to the end. That sin will not enter our relationship with you. Oh Lord, sin will not enter. In the name of Jesus, help us, oh God, to be righteous men and women. Oh, righteous children of God. Oh, stand in your righteousness and your holiness. Help us to stand firm in the name of Jesus. Do not let sin to enter into our life. Do not let sin to enter into our heart. In the name of Jesus, amen. Help us, oh God, that in everything we do, we will hold firm our integrity. We will hold high our integrity. Sin will not be found in us. Oh Lord, increase us. In, increase our relationship with you, Lord. Help us, oh God, to have quiet time, to have personal relationship. Oh, a father and daughter, a father and a son relationship, oh God, where you speak to us and we hear you. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Renew our relationship with you, oh God. Help us to hear you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this word today, Lord Jesus. May it sink into the spirit of someone. May you give her the grace not to break her marriage, to stay firm in her marriage. In the name of Jesus, obeying your word. Despite the situation, I speak peace of God into marriages, that the works of darkness, manipulations of the enemy against the children of God, all the sin against God shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus, I pray for grace for the men and women to walk righteously, meeting your standard. Oh, for marriage, in the name of Jesus, I pray for grace grace for us, O oh Lord, that we will walk in your truth and your righteousness, that our relationship with you, O oh God, will be solid, that nothing will come in between us and you, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, that at the end we will be with you forever, in eternity, in heaven, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name, in the name of Jesus. I bless this week in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that is risen up against us be consumed and condemned. In the name of Jesus, peace of God upon our homes, upon our family, upon our lives, upon our spirit, upon our mind, our body. In the name of Jesus, healing of God pass through our body. In the name of Jesus, flush out every works of darkness and manipulation. We decree the judgment of God upon them. They shall not prevail, neither shall they come to pass. It is well with us in our going out. It is well with us when we're coming. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessed be your name, Lord. I give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God all the glory for today. Have a wonderful week. Have a blessed week, even in the presence of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stay blessed.